how can I create my own recurring tasks in Notion so they appear automatically in my to-do list, let's say once a week. For example, I would love to have a task called create the content for this week that it appears automatically every Monday morning in my to-do list so I make sure that I don't forget about it. This was one of the questions that I got asked the most for the last year. So today I'm going to show you how I create my own recurring tasks. And the best part is that's 100% for free. So let's get into it. But first, if you are new here, hi, my name is Anna Kushart and I'm a Notion consultant for business owners. And in this channel, we're going to discuss everything about how to run your team and business in peace. Now let's check this tutorial. Let's say that you already have your business happy Notion from which you can manage all of your projects, your clients, your tasks, and you can even plan your content ahead using a calendar. But now, if we focus on the task management, besides having your daily to-do list in here and be able to see what needs to be done today, what's waiting for us during this week, and what do we have planned for the next month, what if we create a recurring task in here, so then once a week, let's say every Monday morning, we have automatically a task created in here waiting for us that's called prepare the content for the next week. Let's see how can we make that happen. So the very first thing that we need to do is to go inside the tasks database. We're going to click in this arrow next to the new blue button. And in here, you will be able to see and manage and create and edit all your internal templates. For this specific case, we're just going to create a task, but you can actually create many different templates for the inside structure and SOPs for your clients and projects. So if you want to know more about it, let me know in the comments because I have a future video plan for that. But for this specific case, we're just going to create a template for this specific task. So we're going to click inside new template and you will see how this template for the tasks automatically appears. And we can be sure that we're editing a template because you're going to see this yellow-ish button in here that says you're editing a template inside the tasks database. And we can already see in here the option to make it recurrent. So this is what we're going to do in a second. The first thing we need to do is to set the name for these specific tasks. So in this case, we're going to call it um, create the content for this week. As it is something that we know we're going to be doing every single week. And we can also relate it to any specific project, any specific client, which in this case, uh, there's no need to. You can even assign it to someone specific. I'm going to assign it to myself, so I always get notified. And we can even set the specific priority. So I'm going to select this as high. Now, the next step is the most important part you need to do in order to make this a recurrent task and to make sure that it appears inside our daily checklist that we just see a seconds before. And that is that you need to select a very specific due date. We're going to go in here inside the due date and we're going to select the today option. Now, why is this so important? In order to work with recurring tasks, we need two things to happen. The first one is we need this task to be created automatically every few days or in this case, once a week. But then the second part is as we're already working with our task management and we already have our daily checklist, we need this task to actually appear inside our daily checklist. Because if not, the task can be created, but if we don't set this specific to date, we're never going to see it. Like it's going to, it's not going to appear inside our daily checklist and then it's not going to work. And that's what I'm selecting in here, the due date, because whenever this task is created, that specific due date, it's going to be the specific date that this task is created. So for example, if I want this task to be created every Monday, Every specific Monday, the task is going to be created and then the due date, it's going to be automatically set as that specific Monday. So whenever that Monday arrives and I just log in inside my business happy notion, inside my daily to do list, I'm going to see this task automatically appearing there because it has the specific due date of that day. Now, the second part that we need to do is to set this task that we have predefined as a template as a recurring item. So we're just going to go in here at the top where it says repeat every dot dot dot. And you can see that we have many different options to select from. So you can do this every single day or once a week or once a week or every single work day, every two weeks, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So for this specific example, we're gonna set this to be created every Monday morning. So we're gonna set it as one week, we're gonna select it as Monday. You can actually make it like more than one day in say the same week. Um, and when do we want this to be created? Actually, I think we're gonna set around 6 a.m just in case there's a random Monday <laughs> that we start working earlier. When is it starting? Okay, tomorrow we don't care because like the first day today, it's like a Tuesday thing. So the first um, one is going to be created next Monday morning. When is this ending? Never. And the time zone we can select um, our own. And then it's very important to just click save. And you will see that it's already set as repeat every week. So now we can click elsewhere. And as you can see, this task 
it's not like it doesn't be it doesn't appear automatically in our list because today is a Wednesday. <laughs> no, today is a Tuesday, I think. I don't know. But today is not a Monday. It's not 6 a.m. So right now we don't see this task. But the goal in here is that the next Monday, as soon as I wake up, I'm going to see in here whatever tasks I have planned in advance from whatever projects I'm currently working with. But I'm going to see a task that's called create the content for this week with a priority as high and that's selected to that specific Monday and that's assigned to me, it's going to appear in here automatically. So I don't need to be afraid to forget about creating the content for that week because that's going to be reminded in me for just using this checklist. Now, just to show you as an example, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, imagine that right now it's not Tuesday, it's the next Monday morning. I choose login inside my Notion and you will see that I have X amount of tasks related to X amount of projects, but there is this one task that in my case, I have not related to any specific project because this is more like client or internal work. And this is like something recurring that I need to work for my business. And we can see the task already in here. So it's going to set the specific due date for the date that is created. So today is Monday morning. I need to like create the content for this week and then I can just mark it as done as soon as it's done. And in this way, I can just keep working with the task for the week. And then on the next Monday, it's going to appear in here once again. Now, how can you edit a recurring task that you have previously created? In order to see how many recurring tasks do you have or how can you delete them or just edit them, you just need to go back inside the arrow next to the blue button. And you can see that right now we only have this one, create the content for this week. And you can see with these two blue lines um, that it's already set as recurring and it's meant to be um, created every single week. So in order to edit here, you just need to go uh, click on the three dots and you will set the different options so we can readjust the recurrency for it to maybe be like, okay, I actually want to this to be created every single day or I'm going to move this just to be created twice um, every month, something like that. You can also like go at the very end and just delete it. <laughs> and if you want to just edit it, you can click on the edit and then you can just change the name or maybe remove yourself or change the priority. But do not do not edit the do date because then it's going to happen the same as before. So the task can be created, but we will not be able to see it inside our daily checklist. Now, if you want to create more recurring tasks, the quickest way to do it is to just go in here, select one of the ones that you have already because you already have selected the recurrency and everything else. So you can just go and click here and duplicate it. And you're going to see that it's the same name with just a plus one. And you can just go in here, update the whole title for something else, um, maybe change the priority. And then you can also just go in here and change the recurrency. But the today due date is also going to be there. So it's one step that you don't have to think about, which is the most important. So you can create, you can just keep creating more recurring tasks. So maybe you just want one at the beginning of the week to make sure that you create the content for that week. But maybe you also want a recurring task on Fridays to be like, make sure that you have all the finances on point. Make sure that your email inbox is like set at zero. So you can create multiple ones depending on the needs that you currently have. And that's all for today. So if you have any specific questions about recurring tasks, because maybe you're trying to follow this tutorial, but you still feel stuck at some point or you have some questions, or maybe you're just struggling to set up Notion in order to manage your team and business, go ahead and leave all of your questions in the comments so I can jump in there and answer them so we can all learn together. And if you want me to take a closer look at your specific case, because maybe you're struggling with something specific for your processes or any template that you're trying, I'm also going to leave in the comments a link for you to book a free discovery call with me so we can meet, you can share what are you struggling with, and then I can help you in more detail. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one.